Well, here it is after months of waiting, the Thunderbolt display. Packaging looks almost exactly like my previous cinema display packaging looked. <laughs> Thunderbolt display. I'm not going to bother doing a uh, full unboxing if you're that bored. Uh, watch another unboxing, a 27 inch unboxing, a 24 inch. It all looks the same on the inside. Let's uh, get it out. Inside the box we have the basic, I don't know what that is, a manual, whatever. Um, power cord and the cord coming from the display. This shows the Thunderbolt adapter and the power adapter for your laptop. Once around back we see our cord once again and our three USB firewire Thunderbolt port and Ethernet port as opposed to my 24's triple USB and also uh, Obviously, a few more plugs on the old one. Let's go ahead and spin her around and uh, see how they look side by side. Sitting next to my 24, you can see the height difference is pretty minimal. They look almost exactly the same. We'll get right up to the difference. Bit of a difference in height, just slightly on the top. And the bottom lays back almost the same. Although, no more of this silver bezel that there was before. I don't know if the 27's um, previous generation had that or not since I've been waiting for uh, Thunderbolt for a while, a while. I held off with my 24 as long as I could and here they are from the rear side by side. Let's uh, flip them around and see what the difference in size here is. You almost, it's almost hard to tell. One's lined up, but while it may not be apparent on the video, it's very obvious when side by side, the size difference, it's, it's a big difference. <clears throat> Now let me go ahead and get the uh, Mac plugged in, see how she runs. Go around back, we plug in our power adapter and our Thunderbolt port, and that's it. Our two Thunderbolt ports go down, our Thunderbolt ports, our two uh, wires go down below the desk, and our power and adapters go up front. Spin it around. And in theory, wake them up. New network interfaces have been detected. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I like it. Bump up the brightness on this bad boy. And there we go. I think a good example might have to be the amount of screen real estate. I was probably working at about this much, and now I have this extra extra piece. Uh, for my palettes, which was really bugging me. Now I can open up a site completely and uh, not have to worry about all the excess. Well, that's all for right now. Uh, stay tuned in a few days. As soon as the Apple Store gets them in stock, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a second one of these 
and uh, try and daisy chain them together. That way I have two full 27s side by side. It's going to be a little bit of overkill, but all the fun things in life are, right? So check back with me in a few more days, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see two of these side by side in action. Thanks for watching.